What is the deceased soldier? The deceased soldier is the infamous humanoid corpse sitting just outside Craig's room in Super Metroid. The true origin of the soldier is unknown and there are many theories on who this would be with some saying it's a bounty hunter. Perhaps it is Armstrong Houston but the most prevalent theory is that it is often thought to be a brave or perhaps foolish Federation soldier that met his demise before Craig. But in all honesty, I don't think this makes sense at all. For one, there is absolutely no reason for a Galactic Federation soldier to be on Zebes. Samus was originally sent to Zebes in Metroid Zero Mission to get rid of all the space pirates occupying the once chosen inhabited planet by the Galactic Federation. This means that the Galactic Federation already acknowledge how dangerous of a planet Zebes is and that they need to send a bounty hunter for the mission. Secondly, no one knew the space pirates would have reoccupied the planet by Super Metroid. Samus only knew the space pirates were back when Ridley kidnapped the baby and she followed Ridley back to the planet. Third, is why would a lone soldier be out all the way in Zebes and all the way inside Brinstar? Galactic Federation soldiers don't operate with one soldier alone. We see this shown on two of their hands down best Metro game to ever grace our puny lives. Other M, where they have a whole squad, and Prime Federation Force, where there is a team of four. So what if the soldier isn't a soldier, but rather a space pirate? More specifically, the cyborg space pirate Weevil, who appeared in Metroid Prime Hunters, released back in 2006. Weevil was once a normal Sabesian space pirate who was stationed at Brinstar around the time of Metroid Zero Mission. One fateful day, Samus was sent to clean up Zebes, and this is where Weevil fought Samus for the first time, but he was completely annihilated by Samus and was left for dead until other space pirates retrieved what remained of him, being his brain and spinal cord, and have transferred the content into a power suit. This gave birth to the cyborg space pirate, Weevil. Fun fact! You don't encounter any space pirates at all in Brinstar while playing the original Metroid and Zero Mission, so we just have to take the Nintendo Power's data entry as facts. Developer Richard Vorotti, I believe that's how you say his name, said that he would give Weevil a bigger role if given the opportunity, and that if a second remake were to be made, Weevil would have played a major role. After Weevil has been rebuilt, it may seem that he has left the space pirates after, but even after leaving, his allegiance remain loyal to the pirates, as he only accepts jobs from the space pirates. By the events of Metroid Prime Hunters, Weevil received an unknown signal regarding an ultimate power. Weevil answered to the call, though what is the purpose for seeking the ultimate power? That was never disclosed, but based on his origin story, it could possibly be so that he can exact his revenge against Samus. Weevil seeked out the ultimate power. He failed to obtain the ultimate power from Gorilla as it was just a bogus call to trick ignorant hunters. Weevil and the other hunters escaped alive, and while it is not known what happened to Weevil afterwards, it is likely that his allegiance to the space pirates still holds true, and have returned to the space pirates army, or continue to take on jobs for them. This gives a reason on why Weevil will return to Brinstar, where he would meet his ultimate demise. Once again, a Federation soldier at Brinstar at the time of Super Metroid wouldn't make sense at all since no one was aware of the pirates re-inhabiting Zebes and Galactic Federation always moved in groups. However, if Weevil does in fact rejoin the space pirates, it is likely he would be placed at his old station at Brinstar, where he is most familiar with the environment and the duties, and that he is likely placed over at Brinstar to protect the great space pirate commander, Kraid. If we observe the dead soldier more closely, we can see what was thought to be a yellow visor on the helmet, is actually not the case. Instead, it is oozing out yellow liquid from the head and also in multiple places. If this was a dead Federation soldier, shouldn't the liquid oozing out be red instead? Since the Federation soldiers are humans after all. Weevil however is a cyborg that only have his brain and spinal cord, so conventional red blood does not apply to him. Let's not forget Weevil's colour theme is green and yellow. His visor is yellow and his sight is also yellow, matching the yellow oozing liquid. But this may sound like a big stretch using colour themes as correlation. How about this fun trivia then? You know what else is yellow? Real life liquid for preserving body parts or specimens placed in museums. 
I'm not going to post any images as it's a bit too gruesome to look at. But what is the yellow liquid oozing out of the dead soldier isn't blood, but the pickle juice inside Weevil's suit. But this is all just a theory. We don't know who the deceased soldier is, and while it makes more sense for this soldier to be Weevil, there are some things that conflict with it being Weevil. Such as the fact that the deceased soldier was created back in 1994. Weevil is an ID from Prime Hunter's devs in 2006, and it's pretty evident Yoshio Sakamoto, the legend himself, does not really keep up with the main Prime series lore. Much less Prime Hunters, which seems like the main Prime game's devs don't even take into consideration either. Another thing is that the soldier's suit colour is grey. Weevil's suit is green, but colour thematic does change once in a while, so this isn't a big deal. If the soldier however is indeed Weevil, it's cool that they based a character around an iconic set piece in Super Metroid, which may explain why Weevil is Metroid Prime Hunter's dead Richard Varotti's favourite bounty hunter. But it will be sad at the same time, because this means Weevil will not return at all, since he's dead by then. But then again, if Ridley can keep coming back from the dead, then so can Weevil. I hope with the above evidence, you two are convinced that this deceased grey battle suit body with a green shoulder light is Weevil, and not some random Galactic Federation soldier from Prime Federation Force. <laughs>